Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Matthew chapter 5, verses 15 and 16. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand, where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. There are two words for good in Greek. One is agathos, which simply defines a thing as good in quality. The other is kalos, that refers to things that are not merely good, but also beautiful and attractive. The word used here to describe the good deeds that we need to do is kalos. That is a really important point. God doesn't simply want us to do correct things, but things that are beautiful, which are attractive to those around us. I often see Christians doing beautiful things, and I have no doubt that it brings God enormous pleasure. I think of people who care for the dying. One of the most wonderful developments over the past 50 years has been the growth of hospices. Dame Cicely Saunders was at the heart of this development. She was a strong Christian, and this was her conviction. She said this, You matter because you are you, and you matter to the end of your life. We will do all that we can, not only to help you die peacefully, but also to live until you die. Thank God for those who've poured out their Christian love in this way. But I think of a thousand other ways in which, day in, day out, People are turning their love for Jesus into concrete action. I think of those working with disabled people, migrants, asylum seekers, the homeless and the elderly. The work is often costly and challenging, and it's beautiful because it springs from the heart of a generous God who cares. The church is famous for speaking a lot of words. That's understandable and right because we have good news to share. But if those words are not backed up by good and beautiful deeds, then the words will ring hollow and people will fail to see the light. Jesus' vision was for followers whose beautiful deeds would shine the light of his presence for all to see. Let me ask you a question. What are the good deeds that flow from your own church into the community? Now let me lead you in a prayer. Loving God, we pray that the good things that we do today will encourage many people to praise you. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available, of course, on podcast, which you can access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a really good day.